Two years ago, you saw him in the pre-show. Today, we had uh, um, Harrison Greenbaum. Um, last year, we had Tom Cotter. I love having comedians in part of this show. So you, you got to know Sir Belly right now to get this one. All right. So Rocky Lepore, um, he's amazing. Um, he's the every man's comedian, but he's a little bit more every man than me. Um, when you hear him, you're going to think he's my father, okay? He's got the Brooklyn accent. He's one of the most sought-after comedians out there. As soon as Tim Grable from the Grable Group passed this on to me and said, how about Rocky? I knew Rocky. I've seen him on Last Comic Standing. Um, he's received uh, so many uh, awards. He, uh, he's come in, I think, the top five on these shows and stuff like that. But just sit back right now. Let's have a good laugh, all right? This is why we're here for 90 minutes in this show. Please give... A big round of applause to someone I love from my hometown, where well, I just found this out yesterday, from Canarsie, Brooklyn. Ladies and gentlemen, Rocky Lepore. All right. How you guys doing? You good? Yeah? Keep going for Michael and everybody you've seen, huh? Come on. Oh, man. I started working out. This guy told me he's supposed to feel better. I feel like somebody beat the crap out of me. Yeah, you work out? Folks, can you hear me or no? You don't even have the energy to say no. You're like, it's 8 in the morning. We should be sleeping. You ever eat so much you start sweating? And then you go, I better have some ice cream and cool off. You ever have that happen? You ever like start working out, then you get real sore, then you lay off for like two years? You ever do that? Yeah. He's like, exercise, you'll feel better. I'm like, I feel better when I'm laying down eating donuts. Yeah, that's, I don't have a lot of time. That's okay. I, uh, <laughs> that's like my brother. This guy, he eats junk. He don't work out, and he's skinny. You know people like that? Yeah, you want to punch him in the neck. He's baloney. Who the hell eats baloney anymore? Because I had a bologna sandwich. I'm like, what are you in jail? What are you eating bologna for? That's what you get when you're on lockdown, you know? My doctor told me to work out because uh, I just had a birthday there. I turned 50 like three, four years ago. And uh, all my friends are like, Rock, they go, you don't seem that old. I go, that's because I read at a third grade level. <laughs> it keeps me young. Don't you hate going to the doctor? Like every time you go, they make you fill out those stupid forms, right? They're like, who should we notify in case of an emergency? I'm like, how about the doctor? How about that? <laughs> yeah, there's a good place to start. They go, no, we mean like a parent. I'm like, oh, well, they're probably just going to call the doctor. <laughs> what are your parents going to do? They're like, Mrs. Laporte, your son's been in an accident. She's like, give him ice cream. He really likes the ice cream. <laughs> They're asking my mother for medical advice. They go, is he a hemophiliac? She's like, no, we're, we're Italian. <laughs> That's the stuff they ask you. He goes, you got a big family? I'm like, my dad's kind of fat. <laughs> I'm like, where's this going? Then they always ask you for closest living relative, right? I'm like, from here or my house? <laughs> I, I put four miles. Yeah. Can you guys hear me over there? <laughs> and they put living. We're going to contact one of my dead relatives. They're like, give him grandpa's old number. I got knocked out one time. The doctor goes, how long were you knocked out for? I'm like, I don't know. I was knocked out. <laughs> Who times that? I don't have the knocked out app on my iPhone 1. <laughs> then they ask you, they go, does anything run in your family? I'm like, divorce and bad decisions. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'm like, you could throw broken dreams in there too, doc. You ever go up there for an exam and then you're sitting in a room naked, he comes in, he's like, put your clothes back on, I'm an eye doctor. You're like, uh, 
right? Find a dollar every time that happened. So I'm in Vegas. I've been coming to Vegas a long time, right? And my buddy he goes, I go, show me around. I want to get off the strip. There he takes me. We went to the Las Vegas Zoo. You ever been there? It's a piece of crap. You ever seen it? They got like four birds and a squirrel. I swear to God. They don't even have good animals. There was like a lizard or something ran by. I'm like, what the hell is that? The guy goes, that's not ours. Yeah. Places. Then they charge you to get in there. It was like $8. It comes out to like a buck an animal. I'm not even making this up. <laughs> oh, man. My girlfriend wanted to go camping. She goes, let's go camping. We'll sleep outside. I'm like, I don't want to sleep outside. That's why I work. <laughs> yeah. Folks, I'm Italian. I don't think we camp. I thought we went camping one time when I was a kid, but my old man just said we we're laying low. <laughs> yeah. You ever talk to someone, their breath so bad you can't even pay attention to what they're saying? You're trying to figure out what they ate. You know, what'd you eat, a moose or something like that? And they never want any gum, right? Because you want some gum? And they're like, no. And you're like, oh, crap. Would you mind if I shove some up my nose? Would that be okay? You ever try to give them a hint? You go, hey, you want to have some fun? Let's go brush our teeth. I got to get out of you guys. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Rocky, everybody. My paisan. Hey, boss, I appreciate that. Paisan. That's what we love, having guys like that that you could bring into corporate America, clean, funny, just making people laugh.